let's start an introduction to fuzzy logic. To begin, we can open our discussion using some words of an important professor, Lotfi Zadeh. Lotfi Zadeh was a mathematician, computer scientist, electrical engineer, artificial intelligence researcher, and professor of computer science at the University of California, Berkeley. He said, as complexity rises, precise statements lose meaning and meaningful statements lose precision. So he's best known for, for proposing fuzzy mathematics consisting of several fuzzy related concepts, fuzzy sets, fuzzy logic, fuzzy algorithms, fuzzy semantics, fuzzy languages, fuzzy control, fuzzy system, fuzzy probabilities, fuzzy events, and fuzzy information. The above threads should make us think about the relationship between precision and uncertainty. The more uncertainty is a problem, the less precise we can be in our understanding of that problem. The lack of precision is everywhere around us. For example, Let's talk about food preparation in older manuals that provide receipts that are appropriate enough for cooking food. A typical receipt calls for about a cup of this, or a few tablespoons of that, or a smidge of something, or four or five slices of something, or a couple of medium size of other things, or seasoning to taste. What are these? The receipts goes on to say that this will produce about four servings. So this vagueness and ambiguity is not objectionable, but the arithmetic that comes from it is. So when considering the use of logic and fuzzy logic for a given problem, an engineer or scientist should ponder the need for exploiting the tolerance for imprecision. The seminal paper on fuzzy sets, written by Professor Zadeh in 1965, is considered to be the starting point of the fuzzy theory. Fuzzy logic sidesteps the rigidity of the traditional Boolean logic in which any statement is either true or false. In contrast, it allows degrees of truthfulness that measure to what extent a given object is included in a fuzzy set. Fuzzy truths values are determined by a fuzzy membership function with values that can be between 0 and 1. And that establishes the degree of membership of an object in a fuzzy set. Fuzzy methods provide formalization for describing such ambiguity in contrast to probability theory providing characterization of randomness. In fact, fuzziness describes the ambiguity of an event and randomness describes the uncertainty in the occurrence of the event. Let us consider an example. For instance, tall. Tall is an elastic property. To define the set of tall men as a classical set, one would use a predicate that, for example, is P of X, and X is more than 176 centimeters, X being the height of a person. and. Um, this is an abrupt approximation to the concept all. From an engineering viewpoint, it is likely that the measurement is uncertain due to a source of noise in the equipment. Thus, measurements within the narrow band 1776 plus something, that something expresses variation in the noise and could fall on either side of the threshold randomly. In this concept, context, um, an assertion can be more or less true in fuzzy logic. In classical logic, an assertion is either true or false, not uh, something in between. And fuzzy logic extends classical logic by allowing intermediate truth values between 0 and 1. So fuzzy logic enables a computer to interpret a linguistic statement, such as, if the washing machine is half full, then use less water. It adds intelligence to the machine, uh, washing machine, since the computer infers an action from a set of such ifs and rules. Fuzzy logic is like computing with words. Um, exactly as a creator of fuzzy logic said, um, Professor Zadeh. So, the objective of this course is to explain 
the necessity and sufficient parts of the theory, such that engineering students understand how fuzzy logic enables fuzzy reasoning by computers and how this concept can be implemented by innovative technologies like SCATE. Now, for the beginning, let's talk about fuzzy set. Fuzzy set theory and fuzzy logic are very important in the case of the models based on intuition and judgment. That is why control applications are the most relevant of current fuzzy logic applications. Fuzzy logic are the most successful in two kinds of situations. One, in very complex models where understanding is strictly limited or judgmental. And the second one, is a regard, it regards processes where human reasoning, human perception or human decision making are involved. The nature of uncertainty in a problem is a very important point that engineers should prior to their selection of any appropriate method to express the uncertainty. Fuzzy sets provide a mathematical way to represent vagueness in humanistic systems. Moreover, this type of sets correspond to linguistic variables used in a human language. All fuzzy sets are specified by their membership functions, which are provided by the human experts, and then they are tuned by the fuzzy system designers. In fact, fuzzy sets provide fuzzy quantization of input and output variables. A crisp input and output variable is in fact represented as a number of overlapping regions with vague boundaries. Fuzzy theory allows the partitioning of a variable space into fuzzy fuzzy sets. Any signal out of the variable space belongs more or less to at least one fuzzy set, which can be described by a linguistic term. This procedure is called fuzzification. Professor Zadek suggested that set membership is the key to decision making when faced with uncertainty. This notion of a set membership is very important for object representation within a universe and it concerns the definition of some sets on the universe. Classical set contains objects that satisfy precise properties of membership. Fuzzy sets contain objects that satisfy imprecise properties of membership. Supposing a collection of individual elements, X, all of these singletons make up a universe of discussed upper X. Further, various combinations of these singletons make up sets A on the universe. For crisp sets, an element X, the universe X, upper X, is either member of some crisp set A or is not. For this binary issue of membership, we can describe mathematically an indicator factor, as it can be seen, where the symbol, the main one, indicates an unambiguous membership of element in the set A. So they extended the notion of a binary membership such that different degrees of membership involve the entire real interval 0, 1. The endpoints 0 and 1 correspond to no membership and full membership as indicator function does for crisp set. The infinite number of values between the endpoints represents various degrees of membership of an element X in a set on the universe. Comparing crisp set and fuzzy set, Bezdek has uh, outlined the fact that crisp sets of real objects are equivalent to a unique membership function, but there is no set equivalent of real objects corresponding to lambda a, as we discussed previously. Fuzzy sets are always functions that maps a universe of objects x onto the interval 0, 1. In this way, the fuzzy set H is a function mu H that carries X into the interval 0, 1. What is a fuzzy rule? A fuzzy rule represents an input-output mapping and, more precisely, it specifies the association between fuzzy sets in the input and output space. A collection of fuzzy rules specifying an input-output mapping is called a fuzzy inference system. There are two advantages of such representation of mapping. One, it allows a presentation of a prior knowledge about the system. And secondly, this representation is highly interpretable. 
Combining crisp input and output signals with fuzzy a priori knowledge requires uh, not only the fuzzification step, when the fuzzy representation is obtained from the crisp input value, but also the defuzzification step, which converts the fuzzy output values to an equivalent crisp. Fuzzy inference systems are sometimes promoted as a new approach to modeling input-output modeling. Specification of fuzzy rules is the same as specification of parametric model in statistics. Also, tuning the fuzzy rules and membership functions is similar to estimation in statistics. The difference between these two approaches consists in fact that parametric models in fuzzy systems are specified in local regions, whereas statistics describes global parametric models. Moreover, tuning a fuzzy system is not well defined, but parameter estimation is a clearly defined problem. So, let's talk about operational fuzzy sets. Some operational fuzzy sets that will be used in fuzzy control are the union of two fuzzy sets A and B, which is a, a fuzzy set C, whose membership function is related to those of A and B by a maximum operation as it can be seen. The intersection of two fuzzy sets A and B is another operation on fuzzy sets. It gives us the fuzzy set C, whose uh, membership function is related to those of A and B by means of a minimum operator. The so min and max operation can be seen. Definition of implication or inference given by Zadeh and Mamdani says the following. Let A and B be two fuzzy sets, not necessarily on the same universe. The implication A implies B can be seen and uh, the outer product is done using an end operator. This outer product applies the end operation to each element of the Cartesian product of the two arguments. In order to draw conclusions from rule base, we need a mechanism that can produce an output from a collection of if-then rules. This is done using a rule of inference. With simple analogies, there is a famous rule of inference called modus ponens. It can be stated as follows. If it is known that a statement A implies B is true, and also that the statement A is true, that it can be inferred that B is also true. Fuzzy logic generalizes this into generalized modus ponens. So, we are ready to give the definition of compositional rule of inference. So, let R be a relation from universe U1 to universe U2, and A is a fuzzy set defined on U1. Then, a composed by R is B, and this is a set in U2. B is a set in U2 induced by A.